Hey, so uh, physical science students. So I said I would show you guys answers for the uh, warm up stuff. And so uh, let's take a look at those slope warm ups. Um, Beth has to choose which trail to hike. Tra trail A is three miles long, all uphill with an elevation change of 900 feet. Trail B is three miles long, also uphill with an elevation change of 700 feet. So realistically for one, you could say either trail A or B is acceptable depending on your answer, depending on your explanation rather. Okay, so you might say that trail B is more difficult because, um, or sorry, let me start with A. You might say that trail A is more difficult because this trail is longer at three miles long. And so the hike would be longer than with trail B and would be more difficult, okay? However, however if you're thinking of slope, trail B would actually be more difficult this is the better answer because this has a change of 700 feet in elevation over one mile. So 700 feet up per mile versus trail B, which has an elevation change of 900 feet over three miles. And so 900 divided by three would be 300 feet up per mile. So trail A has a shallower or less steep slope and would overall be easier to hike if you're thinking about the difficulty of having to go up, okay? Now I'm gonna delete that, but as you can see here, even you might, as you type, you might change the formatting slightly of the sheets here. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about trying to keep everything on one page. If it starts on one page, just type in these fields and uh, let the stuff go where it goes based off of how much you type. For the warm up. In uh, the gizmo warm up here, after moving these points and moving the sliders, really what you should be saying is how do you find the run between two points? The run is always x2 minus x1, or the change in the x value from uh, point 0.1 to point 0.1 to point 0.2. Okay. Can the rise be negative? The rise can be negative if the second point has a more negative y than the first point. So for instance, 10 to seven would give you a negative rise. Varying the x1 and x2 sliders, how would you find the rise? This is basically the same as the run, right? Except instead of being y x2 minus x1, it's always y2 minus y1, or the change in the y value from point one to point two. And the run can be negative. The run can be negative. if the second point has a more negative x than the first point. So if your points go from right, right to left, and I don't know if that's showing up the right way on the camera, but if your points are going from right to left, then you could have a negative run, okay? So I'm gonna delete those. So they're blank for you. When you pull this up, you do wanna make sure you have those fields filled in and that you're filling in basically anywhere where you see an orange box 
is something where you should have an answer for these gizmo sheets, okay? Again, uh, let me know if you got any questions. I'm actually jumping into the WebEx now. <laughs> 